There were at least 166 orcas have been taken into captivity since 1961, but about 80% orcas are now died. From 1961 to now, it's just 58 years. There are 70 orcas remain in captivity now, according to the report of Whale and Dolphin Conservation. 37 of them were captured in the wild, and 33 of them were born in captivity. However, these numbers don't include the number of orcas that died in the temporary holding tanks or during the capture operation. Four whales in the Shanghai Haichang Polar Ocean Ward were well caught from Russia Far East in 2016. Nowadays, only China and Russia are still trading orcas. Later on, I found it's quite sarcastic that before the orca performance starts. The screen shows some questions about orcas and asks the audience to answer them. The first question is dangers faced by wild killer whales. The answer is three. However, they forgot that these aquariums are also destroying orcas' lives. The second question is how deep can orcas swim in the ocean? The answer is three. Also, however, the space that these aquariums gives to orcas is limited. The depth is five meters. Also, as we already knew that orcas swim up to 225 kilometers a day in the wild, but I asked their feeder about orca situation. The feeder answered me that the orcas are swimming all the time except their eating time in their limited space because they don't have enough space. Furthermore. It's quite interesting that after the performance, the big screen showed a video to the audience, and the video said, "Live in harmony on this beautiful world we share." But humans, like Hai Chang Company's owners, are using human beings' advantage to gain profit from animals. I have interviewed a family. The father has read Richard article about the killer whale before. Although he knew about the killer whale, he still took his child to the ocean park, basically just to have fun.、Uh, it sounds like my previous experience in my childhood, because I also like to go to the aquarium. It's a common phenomenon in China, I think. But that father and his family also hope these whales can be released to the wild. Even the child, the child told me that he loves orcas. In addition, I interviewed an orca breeder. I still can remember that he said America is very experienced in this field. When I asked him about how long orcas can live, it clearly suggests he or most breeders also don't know about the real situation of orcas. As a worker in the aquarium. He wants to earn money, so he cannot say too much. I can definitely understand it, but I have to state the fact that America, which is a developed country, is decreasing the number of aquariums that has orca performance in these years. But China just starts it. I think it's because China is a developing country. If America doesn't have this kind of performance anymore. China will attract more tourists and increase the economic benefit in this field, such as lower unemployment rate and higher standard of living. All in all, I think visitors are still going to watch orca performance, and many workers are still working in this field because they don't know the exact information of orcas. My intern in the ocean park proves my point of view. But he forgot that all orcas are not domesticated when they are born. They are supposed to live in the wild. Humans magnify their privileges and forget that every creature has its own rights. But now we are depriving them from their freedom 